Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to this video. This is the first video in a series of videos that will go through the basics of Sage Business Cloud Accounting. So this is the software in front of me. One of the things I should mention, first of all, is your software may look slightly different. The reason being, Sage will update their software now and then. So there might be extra features at the top here, or there might be slight different color coding on the software. Nothing to worry about. Continue with the tutorials because it will only be a slight change. You know, the, the process of doing everything should be exactly the same. So this is the software. One thing to mention really before we get into Sage Business Cloud Accounting is it's much better to watch these videos through my website. The reason being YouTube doesn't always suggest the next video or recommend the next video in line. So if you go over to my website, which is freebookkeepingaccounting.com, just bring that up like that, click on free stuff. I have plenty of tutorials about all aspects of bookkeeping and accounting and accounting software, including Excel. Find the Sage page though, click start. All my Sage videos are listed here, including this tutorial. So if we scroll down to Sage Business Cloud Accounting, all the videos, including this first video, will be listed under this heading. So go there and have a look. I guess something else to mention while I'm on my website is I do offer email support for Sage Business Cloud Accounting. It's under services, which is here. You can subscribe to that. If you would prefer to have one-to-one -one online training with me, the Bookkeeper Master, I also offer that. So if you want to learn Sage Business Cloud Accounting one-to-one, -one, then I have a program where you can learn one-to-one. -one. If you just click on services and follow the relevant links, that would be great. So this is the software. Let's just have a look at the tabs at the top here. Let's just pull this back down like that. So some tabs at the top here. This is the dashboard. This is the summary page. This is what you're going to see every time you log in to Sage Business Cloud Accounting. There's not much showing at the moment because I haven't actually entered anything on the software yet, but this is very useful. You can see sales information, purchase information, cash flow information too. So if you click on each of these tabs, then you get a dashboard for each of these headings. So on sales, you'll get sales over the last month. Um, you can change the period up here. You'll get overdue invoices, invoices that are due, and lots of other information. Top five debtors, that's the top five people that owe you money. Your top five customers, that'll be by turnover. So it, it's useful, but you can edit this and I'll show you how to do that later. And we'll come back to the dashboard later on in this tutorial once I actually have some information on the software. Now at the top here, this is the top ribbon. We have a sales tab. This is for sales invoices and sales credit notes. We have a purchase tab, which is for the same purchase, purchase invoices and purchase credit notes. We have a contact tab, which is for customers and suppliers. So you may think that customers should be under sales and suppliers under purchases. Um, but there's actually a separate tab, like a, a contact list for customers and suppliers. There's a products and services link that will take you to a page where you can enter products and services that you're going to include on your sales invoices. Don't worry about remembering all of this because I will come back to each of these in detail as this tutorial goes on. We have banking for your bank accounts, bank payments, bank receipts, adjustments for journals. If you're a small business and you're using Sage simply just to record your expenses and sales, you might not know what journals are or ever need journals. So this adjustments tab, you might not even need to know about it. But if you do have a bookkeeping or accounting background, then journals is found under adjustments here. You can also correct transactions 
using this tab. We then have a reporting tab where you can see the profit and loss, VAT returns, age debtors, that's money owed to you, and age creditors, money you owe to your suppliers, and then a settings tab. Like I said, I've gone through that very quickly. There's no need to remember all of that because as this series goes on, I will go through each of these things in detail. So this is the Sage Business Cloud Accounting Series. It will teach you the basics of Sage Business Cloud Accounting. If you would like to comment or ask a question, then please use the section below on YouTube. If you need support by email, once again, go to my website. If you prefer to have one-to-one -one tailored and personal training on this software, once again, go to my website. But let's get started. So this was the first video. In the next video, we'll really get started and have a look at the software and start entering information on the software, preparing the software so we can start raising invoices, recording invoices, that sort of thing. So I'll speak to you in the next video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this one. I'll speak to you in video two.